All right, guys, so this is where one journey ends. And this is where the new journey begins, guys. What is going on, everybody? How's it going? It's been a long time. What's new? Just kidding, this isn't the Dora the Explorer show. I'm not gonna pause the video and wait for your answer. But this is YouTube though, so comment below if anything's new, you wanna chat? Yeah, that's really cool. For me, that first shot was taken actually like a couple weeks ago. That first shot, yeah, it did not turn out how I imagined whatsoever. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's like the whole theme of this whole video. So uh, the big news though, that was actually my last day working at the church. So I've been there for over four years as a full-time and towards the end I was part-time, but that was my job, guys. Um, I haven't been self-employed since like I was a teenager. Today actually I'm driving around trying to see like where I can make my remote office. So the plan is to turn my truck into like a remote office. I'm gonna put a couch there with the desk maybe and I'm able to drive around town like park anywhere I want and just work there. Um, so I do have a side business that's not on the side anymore. So that's the exciting news. So yeah, let's go check out if this is a good remote office. I'm gonna get on top of my truck over here. <laughs> Hope I don't fall. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> yep, that just happened, yeah. I'm an old man trying to get on top of my truck. I need a ladder over here. This is the location. We got the Potomac River right here. This is Washington, D.C. area. Flower hasn't really come out yet. It's kind of like still like early spring. Yeah, this, this could work out, guys. Let's walk around and see what else we got. All right, story time. So this isn't the first time I'm making a huge leap of faith into like changing my career. Before working for church, I actually worked for corporate IT for like nine years doing sysadmin work. You think I'm a geek now? Oh, you should have met me like 13 years ago. But I feel like this time it's a little bit different. I feel like this time it's lot, it was a lot more uncertain, at least in the beginning. Let me explain. So before I go over the sequence of events, I do want to talk about the why. So why did I leave church? Uh, it's not that I hate working for the church or the people there. It was more for like, what's my passion? My passion was to create content with lots of freedom. Now, part of that came from like doing YouTube. Once you go YouTube, you don't want to go work for another dude. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to rhyme YouTube. And another passion of mine was to like learn a lot about videography. Like I love learning about new things, but problem was like I didn't want to learn a lot and try new things by sacrificing someone else's time or wasting someone's time or have the possibility of like the video getting cut. And trust me, like when you work for somebody, there's always the possibility of that. And the other factor was really the season of life I'm in right now. So I actually have a side business, I have two kids, I work for church. I mean, it was a lot to juggle and, and I wasn't doing well in like all those aspects. I was just doing okay and getting by on each of those elements and I think that was the biggest reason It was the fact that I was doing okay at everything and not great at like a couple things And the analogy I have this is like a car factory If there's a car factory and they're making like okay cars on their production line And they can improve on it like a little bit of time like as they make the cars Or they could just stop the whole entire production and like take a step back And really fix the issue so you can make really good quality cars And the car is my video <laughs> And to get to the point of actually deciding to quit, I mean, it took a lot of thoughts and a long time and a lot of prayers. <laughs> So here are the sequence of events that actually happen in this order. The first thing that obviously happened is me putting in two weeks. Well, four weeks technically. But basically I told my boss, hey, I can't work for a church anymore. I really, really like to pursue my dream in like having my own business as a videographer and then do YouTube on the side. But at the time it still wasn't a certain thing because yeah, my business wasn't making a huge amount of money, right? Because I was still working for the church. But I had to kind of take a leap of faith and trust that it was the right decision. So that's the first thing that happened. And the second thing that happened was actually a phone call to my wife from a company. So my wife at the time worked part-time. So I was part-time uh, doing my business and working at church and she was part-time. So our income really wasn't a lot. When we did our budget, uh, basically I had to figure out, all right, for my company and my business, I would have to make about $4,000 a month on profit <laughs> to make this sustainable. So, you know, me being me, I was that confident like, yeah, I can make that happen on my business. But at the same time, I had a lot of doubts about that. So to get a phone call from a company that she wasn't even looking for and she wasn't even looking for a job at the time And they offered her a full-time job and we plugged those budget in and the budget fit perfectly <laughs> to her salary And the third thing that happened the same week same week as that phone call Basically, I landed three jobs from my company that pay over $1,500 each. I mean like phew, 
Now the last thing that happened weeks leading up to this, like I am meeting some incredible people on YouTube and Instagram and like it is just mind blowing. Like I would have never imagined any of these will happen in this sequence when I first took that step to like pursue my dream. Now I'm not saying like you should stop your job today and like pursue your dream. Like there is a season for this in your life and there are responsible steps that you have to take to get to that level. But when you get there, just know that things going to be okay because you're given that much prayer and that much thought into it and you won't know until you actually take that first step to try it. Now I don't intend on making this into a Christian channel but I gotta give thanks when it's due so I thank God for this opportunity and I thank everybody at church who supported me especially these guys. Five, five, three, four, four. I know we're missing few people there, but man, my team took me out to lunch on my last day and gave me this, guys. This is a thumb drive containing like custom message saying good luck to me. Like this is incredible, guys. This really moved me, so I have to show everybody. Hope you don't mind. So yeah, it's amazing to see how people you come across has such a positive influence in your world. I mean like those guys, those guys are awesome. They have such a positive impact in my life, but you guys are awesome too. You guys watching this video, thank you so much. I wouldn't be able to share my creative content with the world without you guys watching this video. So thank you. So naturally, I want to give back. And I'm not talking about like giveaways we're going to do in the future. I'm talking about actual content that's actually going to matter. I'm hoping to make more inspirational and encouraging videos like this during my vlogs. And I want to make tutorials for you guys. So let me know what you guys want to learn and and you're allowed to comment and like request videos or I mean this is a small channel right now so let me know what you guys want to learn and I'll try to make those tutorials and yes this is a videography channel so naturally I'm gonna be doing more gear reviews but not just for the sake of like going over the specs but I want to make gear reviews that actually matter in terms of how it impacts your creativity so look forward to that too so I'm gonna be dedicating like 50% of my time towards YouTube and another 50 towards like my business so I can support my family so I have lots of exciting content coming up on this channel guys and as a last note I feel like making a recap video of all the recap videos and videos I made at church for like past four and a half years as a tribute to what God has made through my life thank you everyone for supporting me and here it is